Previously on WWE 2K22 My Rise, we left off with Finn Balor as the longest reigning NXT champion of all time. With one condition though, he has a match time limit of 5 minutes. So if you can't beat him within the 5 minutes, he retains the title. Yet another example of the injustice going around NXT at the moment. William Regal, the general manager of NXT, has asked Smooth J to beat an opponent within five minutes so he can prove that he has a chance to beat Finn Balor's unfair stipulation. In the first match, Smooth J took care of business, proving that he does have what it takes to beat an opponent within five minutes. The match started off a little bit slow, but he ended up locking in the million dollar dream just as the clock was getting close to expiring. After this win, he had earned the opportunity to take on Finn Balor for the NXT Championship. William Regal decided to ask Smooth J to do one more of these five minute challenges, this time against Raul Mendoza, teammate of Joaquin Wilde, Smooth J's sworn enemy. This time, Smooth J had a much quicker start to the match, put, did a lot of damage to Raul Mendoza quickly, but Smooth J had some company. Finn Balor's music hit, and when Smooth J looked to confront Finn Balor like a man face to face, Finn Balor, like the little coward he is, snuck up behind him, hit the 1916, and Raul Mendoza was only a couple seconds away from taking advantage of it. Smooth J overcame that cowardly cheap shot and was able to put Raul Mendoza in the million dollar dream as time was running out. But unfortunately for Smooth J, Raul Mendoza was able to get to the ropes just as the clock was expiring. Thanks to Finn Balor, Raul Mendoza and Smooth J ended the match in a draw. Luckily for Smooth J, he was still able to cash in on his chance to take Finn Balor's NXT Championship away. Here comes Smooth J walking down the aisle with his future champ shirt. And he's taking on Finn Balor, the no good cheater who not only has an unfair five minute stipulation for his title defenses, but also attacks Smooth J from behind like a coward. Now, Smooth J knew that he only had five minutes to take Finn Balor's NXT title away from him. So right from the onset of the bell, he was in attack mode. This was an incredible battle to watch. The last few seconds of the match saw Finn Balor get countered by Smooth J. Get put into a DDT, so he was down and out. Smooth J went to the top rope to do his finishing move, the Hail Mary. Smooth J hits the finisher, but he doesn't go for the cover to the shock of the fans. There's only 10 seconds left. What is he going to do? He goes for the pin, and he uses his feet on the ropes to win the title from Finn Balor. He said he would do anything to take that title, but the fans did not think he would resort to cheating to beat Finn Balor. He has a whole lot to answer for the next time that he appears on NXT television. Let's head over to social media where Smooth J is bragging about ending the five minute reign of terror of Finn Balor's unfair title defenses. And Finn says it's over between him and Smooth J, but Smooth J has to worry about him. Smooth J is set to speak to the fans at the beginning of NXT this week. Let's take it there and see what he has to say for himself. Let's hear what our brand new NXT champion has to say. Finn Balor's reign of terror is officially over. Now I know some of you were not happy with what I did last week, putting my feet on the ropes to beat Finn Balor, but you have to understand that sometimes two wrongs make a right. I did it for you people. You fans deserve great NXT championship matches, not the garbage. Hold on. We know what this means. We thought we were about to see Demon Finn Balor, but what is this? It appears to be some kind of demon spawn, for lack of a better term. Whatever it is, it can't be good for the NXT champion. 
And these demon minions are swarming the champion. They're tearing him to pieces. This was clearly a message from Finn Balor that their issue is far from over. Himself, Finn Balor, here to survey the damage that his minions delivered. And those minions just scattered. Like, even they were afraid of the demon. I've never seen anything like this. Our NXT champion thought he'd conquered Finn Balor, thought that he had dethroned the prince, but now he's dealing with an entirely different beast. That's right, Corey. And from what we just witnessed, I think we might be looking at a very short NXT championship reign. It looks like the fans are back believing in Smooth J after that great speech that he gave. But now it appears that Smooth J has a whole lot more to worry about. Taking on Finn Balor was a tough enough challenge, but now he has awoken the demon. I apologize, but I'm about to tell you about your first NXT title defense before I've even had the chance to formally congratulate you on becoming champion. It's not ideal. Let me guess. I'm facing demon Finn Balor. Yes, if his coordinated attack on you wasn't clear enough, he's demanding a no disqualification rematch against you at NXT TakeOver. And before you say anything, he did indeed have a rematch clause where he got to pick the stipulation and I'm fully aware of the missteps we made with his contract. Well, as long as you know it. I can offer some advice if you'll take it. If you want your title reign to last longer than one match, I suggest you go... So I have to go see Samoa Joe, the only man that has beaten the demon, to get some advice. To my show. It wasn't that big of a deal. Well, either way... I'm not going to waste your time with small talk. I'm here because I want to know how to defeat Demon Finn Balor. And you're the only man who's ever done it. I figured that's what this was all about. You know, not a day goes by where I don't think about how I nailed that painted up freak with a muscle buster and then pinned him in the ring. One, two, three. Sounds like it really made an impact on you. No, not really. It just seemed like you were hoping for that kind of vibe. I really haven't thought about it too much since it happened. Okay, so then do you at least have any advice on how I could take him down? I have an idea, but first, I want a favor from you in return. I've been battling Braun Strowman for a while, and could gain a bit of an edge if you help me out. And how would I do that? Braun's got a match tonight. Jump him on his entrance. If it was me doing it, he'd be ready, but he'll never expect it. It is true that Smooth J went too far beating up Joaquin Wilde, and he did use his feet on the ropes to beat Finn Balor, but both of those were justified acts of revenge. Smooth J is above jumping somebody like that. So I guess Smooth J is on his own taking on the demon Finn Balor, and that's fine with him. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Championship. This matchup represents a type of encounter these individuals have never experienced before. No one knows the fate that awaits these combatants. A prophecy will be fulfilled, but will that fortune be that of a new NXT champion being crowned? The WWE Universe more than ready for this title defense, and the champion is prepared too.
Demon is here. What a moment! What a spectacle! And what a big fight we're about to witness. When Balor dons the war paint, it's like his abilities are taken to the next level. Hey, check it out. Lashley, Corbin, Owens, Rollins, Styles. All thought they were ready for the Demon. All of them were wrong. An entity that has overwhelmed many before and will continue to do so. It takes a very brave man to face a Demon, knowing that demise is likely inevitable. Does Balor's opposition tonight finally have the key to slaying the demon. Introducing the challenger, the Demon Finn Balor! And introducing the champion from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 226 pounds. He is the NXT Champion, Smooth. A sold-out arena on hand for what promises to be another war for the NXT Championship. There's a chance that the NXT Champion just looked at his title for the very last time. The NXT Champion is about to defend his title in a no-disqualification match against one of the most unstoppable opponents of all time, Demon Finn Balor. This is what NXT TakeOver is all about. The Champion will have to dig deep if he wants to defeat Finn Balor's inner monster because hardly anyone else has. And it still might not be deep enough. Finn Balor may have had a five-minute time limit, but Demon Finn has all the time in the world to get his NXT Championship back. The champ trying to roll with these hits. He had to be prepared to take some damage tonight. Bullseye with the drop kick. He's looking completely lost as he finds his footing. A drop kick from the middle rope. Nicely done. Crafty way to get out of harm there. Oh, right to my gut. Elbow finds his mark. There's the sling blade. Basement drop kick. A oh, double knee face breaker. He must have seen that coming. Oh, what a chop. Finn gets stopped in his tracks. 
sends into the corner. Set him up for something here. And whatever it is, it's gonna hurt, and it's going to hurt bad. Brain Buster! Going for a pin for the championship. Champ with the shoulder up. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? There's the sling blade. And a basement drop kick. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Oh, that's going to sting your back. The champ teetering on the edge. Maybe just stay down, man. You've done enough. 19 16. He's stalking his opponent from the hour. Looking for a dog. Gonna see a new champ. There's two. The rain continues. The champ kicks out. What a display of stamina. The champ showing they are truly worthy of this title. But things might only get harder from here. And now's the time where Finn needs to keep the pedal to the metal. Sustain. Here we go. Ooh. And attacking above the... Uh-oh. He's getting a huge boost right now from all those chants and cheers. Oh, my God. A DDT! Spiked him. The challenger's looking shaken. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Oh, boy. Come on. Not the chair. Heads out, and he has all the time he wants. To the outside. This could get wild. STO! Boom, right across the small of the back. And now a series of stomps and kicks. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Looking for a little bit of high risk here, it seems. From the top. Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing. My goodness, that did not go as planned. Might have been a bad plan to begin with. Aller setting up. Jumping double stomp. And Balor's attack gets cut off. Steel chair to the ribs. Oh, God. Just one right after the other can't be stopped. Oh, tossed hard into the ring post. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. STO! Oh, and that buys some time. Kick right to the back of the leg. Right to the kidneys from behind. He saw it coming, taking advantage. A face buster knee smash. That looks painful. Sliding back into the action. Back in the ring now. Lariat. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. DDT. We might need medical personnel out here very soon. I agree with you. The referee can only diagnose so much. He's heading back to the ring. Overhead kick finds the mark. Climbs back inside. Oh my God! Oh, oh are you oh God. kidding me? Back of his neck. Hooked up. DDT. The challenger is not in a great place. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Oh my gosh, 
We are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. Ooh, clothesline delivered. Ballard's lost bone. Look out! Lands in the drop zone. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Working the midsection there. This is gonna hurt. Doomsday Saito. And Finn heads him off at the pass. He foiled that attempt. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. No, oh, 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 that'll break his arm. Vicious. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Oh. Kick right to the midsection. Saw that one coming, took advantage. Makes him pay with a counter. To the back of the neck, Scottish Sickle. Oh, look at this. I don't want to be part of these problems. Don't want to be part of this crowd. Great counter impressive ring IQ on display there. He'll head to the ring. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. And he was able to turn that around on Balor. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. Oh, they look in his eyes. This isn't going to be good. He's got nasty plans in mind. Way up into the military press. Into the spot. Through the table. I'm in shock. What a disaster. Setting foot in the ring now. Shoulders down. I right, powered out at two. I can't believe it. What an incredible match we are witnessing. Taking this outside. This could be good. I guess he thinks the one thing missing in this match is a steel chair. Saw it coming and got out of there. Brain Buster! Oh, man! Oh, man! Immense pressure being kept on Balor. Finn's getting exposed. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplying. He returns to the ring. Overhead kick finds the mark. Re-entering the ring now. Right to the gut. are spelling nothing but trouble. Balor shows the wherewithal. Oh, a step up in Zagari. Hold on, guys. This isn't good. No, well, it's not, Michael, and I'm afraid to think what's going to happen next. Beautiful drop kick. Uh-oh. What an elbow drop. Right to the heart. And Balor up top. Response against Finn. Oh my god, a DDT! Spike them. Great reversal. Stomping. Ouch. Oh, and a reversal.
reversal. We'll slide back in the ring now. He's back into the ring. Oh, what a spine buster. champion away and that's being proven right now more like the champions proving now they're looking for lift off coup de grace we can have a new champion cover two you have got to hand it to our new champion finn balor was just hungrier tonight